Fist G, how are you today? Hey Ox, I am doing well, how are you? Not too bad, a little bit bittersweet to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, it is a bit, isn't it? We have uh, feels like we've come to the end of the road with Aussie Farms. Hmm, hmm. got through harvest and uh, we've got a good amount of money in the bank. We've made our merchandise, we've sold some merchandise. Uh, I think the grocery store's just about out of it too, it's been that popular, running out like hotcakes. Um, but I think it's time to move on to a new challenge. It is, it is. Yes, the merch has been flying off the shelves. Um, but yeah, no, it's coming into winter here uh, in Australia, and mm. uh, it is coming into spring in uh, in Europe. So we're going to head up there, aren't we? We are, we are. Um, and when we say spring, it's uh, in real time spring. Of course, having just gone through the equinox and daylight savings changeovers and all those kind of things. So that is the plan. But we're going to do a couple last tasks here on the farm. Yeah, we've got a few things to set up. We want to make sure when we leave that the place is uh, in a nice uh, place for somebody else to pick up. So, um, yeah, we'll do a few nice tasks to get the fields prepped, I think. Yeah, I think a little bit of lime on these fields here as a starting point and maybe get a couple prepped to be planted. So when the new farm owners come in, they'll be able to sort of choose their own direction and how they want to see the farm develop. Yeah, excellent call, Logs. All right. Let's do that. So what do you reckon? Lime these three fields here and uh, get out with the ploughs? Rip a couple of them up. Yep, sounds. I think that's a great idea. Definitely. Right. Um, yeah, these are nice, nice big fields, almost back to where we started, right? The first thing we ever did. Yeah, I remember that actually. Sort of grappling with this lime fill station here and opening covers on the uh, on the fertilizer spreaders. So fingers crossed with a pesky John Deere. Tractor. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're we'll going to see if we're going to have the same issues or not today. All right, mate. Cool. All right. Well, do you want to do a field each and then sort of finish off the third one together, or do you want to work together, or what do you want to do? Yeah, let's lime separate fields and then we could rip rip as a, a pair. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. All right. All right, have fun. We'll catch you soon. Cheers, mate. Well, hello there. Welcome along, everyone. Great to see you. Welcome back to Aussie Farms with Farm Sim Guy and myself. And as we have just alluded to, what is our very last episode here on the farm? Uh, it is time to move on. I think we've achieved everything we wanted to achieve when we set out and started. Um... It's been a fun series and we've really enjoyed it. Different style of what we've normally done, um, but yeah, it's been good. So we're going to jump in here. We'll take the uh, John Deere out, we'll get rid of the Demcos and everything off it. Go and get hooked up to one of the lime spreaders. Uh, of course, we've got the fill station just over there, which we'll be able to fill up in. And uh, we're going to get everything get started, going to get some lime applied. Now, what will be interesting, just squeeze in here between the pole and the uh, 7R. There we go, let's uh, disconnect that back that one out. Uh, what'll be interesting is whether we're going to have the same issues we've had previously with covers opening and things like that or whether we're going to be okay. So let's just have a look when we get hooked up here to this one. Already got a little bit of lime in it. Let's see. Covers opening. That's a fantastic start. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. We'll get that popped up and open and of course you'll see as we've talked about before I've got that different lime texture in there which I've changed in the base games and of course I do have the video on how to go through and change base game textures particularly showing how to do the lime one um, so we're just going to get parked in under there now the one thing I still haven't fixed out of the tractor back in the tractor to be able to get my trigger but there we go there's the fill trigger for the lime and everything running as it should which is fantastic to see now we might just see if FFSG's having some problems with his cover or not hopefully he's going to get it sorted otherwise we might have to jump out and do it for him Right, so we're full. FSG got his cover there, should sorted out. Just a change of keypoint, and he's got that opened up, so that is good. We're both good to go. Now, um, I'm just going to pull out straight here into this field right in front of us and get started in there. No better place to be than right next to the yard. This field, of course, is a little bit larger than some of the others, but should work just as well as anything. We'll get that all unfolded. To just give a quick glance down at my repair bar and also my fuel levels. All look pretty good. I think we're okay there. Now, turn that on. Turn on the spinners and we'll just start getting some lime applied. Now, to just double check, we do have automatic application rate applied. If we bring up our mini map, we should see that turning. There we go, look at that. That's nice and dark green. Looks like we're doing a perfect job on getting these uh, this lime boosted up. Now, I think we'll probably find our GPA, our cruise control set a little bit low. Bump that up Look through this little lag spike. All right, well, just as we've come back in there, FSG disconnected. We did a bit of a big donut there, you can see in the field as he was going through his disconnect, but we've got him back and we are going to carry on and get back into it. So, turn that all back on, get things up and spinning. Once again, 
and carry on here in the field. Fingers crossed we're not going to have any more issues but uh, got to admit that is one of the reasons that we are looking forward to moving to a new map, a new challenge, a new server, everything like that is the opportunity to sort of refresh our install and get things set up uh, with a new install on a new server, new maps, new mods, all those kind of things to try and alleviate some of the pain we've been having with the joys of playing on a multiplayer server. Anyhow, enough dribbling on from me let's set ourselves up a gps course on this field and we're just going to set to getting some lime applied it's not going through it too quickly and we are getting a nice application there you can see it traveling along behind us on the mini map so that should be our a and b lines we'll turn those on we'll set our width there we go don't need that anymore and uh, we'll just crack into it so i think spin around see where fsg is there he is you can see him starting we are just going to uh, time lapse this first little part. I think it'll be a good chance for some montages a little bit later on when we're doing the ripping and the like uh, with a couple of tractors working side by side. Anyhow, let's jump into it. We'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, after a couple of frustrating uh, disconnections we got sort of midway through the field, which is uh, through a spanner in the works a couple of times there, we're back up and running. You can see FSG there, he's moved into the next field, the one he was working on earlier. It's just a little bit smaller than ours, so he's been able to uh, jump over there and make a start. We've got one more pass to run up the field here. We'll get this one done and then we'll go over and give him a hand as well. Probably work on one side, he can work on the other and uh or pick a wedge each maybe i'm not sure what's going to be the best way to do it but uh we will go over and give him a hand We've got should have 15 percent line we should have enough to get up to the end of the field it's kind of 
about 10, 11% per pass. So we should be left with maybe two or three percent once we've got there. But we'll go and do that. We're going to get filled up and then we'll go over and give EFSG a hand as well. But all in all, if you look back across there and we'll take a look at the precision farming menu, you can see there a real big boost, uh, particularly in this pass we're doing now, but a big boost across all the fields with the increase in the pH. So you can even see down there where FSG is working, running either side of the power lines, how much of a difference it has made into these fields. So it should help for any prospective future farmers here in Aussie Farms to uh, really give you a good boost on your yields. So anyhow, let's get this last little bit finished. We'll get topped up and we'll jump over in the other field. RxZ FSG. Go ahead, Ox. Uh, where do you want me to start? Do you want me to go for, from one side and you work back from the other? Yeah, if you want, mate. Cool. I'll, um, I've got 43% left, so I could probably go up and back on this side and then... Okay. I'll start over from the other side and then we don't have to worry about our GPS matching too much. All right, sounds good. Excellent. All right, there you go. Let's just turn our lines on. See how close we've ended up. Actually, that's not bad, is it? That's pretty darn close. I don't know if that's FSG's GPS course or whether he was just running manually along the headland but uh we're not overlapping too much which is always ideal um 43 percent left for him we've got 100 percent he'll probably have to fill up once and come over just to finish off his side and we should be pretty good to keep going so again we'll catch up with you in just a little bit Well, it's poetry in motion, even if I do say so myself. Uh, we didn't even sync our GPS, and we've ended up, as you can see along the line there, pretty much perfect. So FSG will finish that last pass up that way. We're going to finish this one down this way, which if we just bring the hut up, we've ended up with 29% in our uh, spreader. So no, not too bad. And pretty good to get that all done. So the plan now, we're going to go and grab probably one of the challenges each. Grab one of the John Deere Rippers. I know they're not the fastest, they're not the uh, biggest and widest plow we could have, but it's what we've got on the farm. We're going to jump into one of these fields and just get it started, get it ripped up, and uh, leave things in a way that the next person can come in and actually start just seeding in one of these fields. Not sure which one we'll do yet. Uh, we'll have a chat. We'll just see how we go for time. We would have liked to have got two or three of these done, but probably going to be that we might only get one of them done. We will wait and see. Right, well part of the deal was we were going to leave the equipment in a good condition, so I will at least play out. There he is, I've never seen a happier man just washing his tractor. Is there anything he loves more? I love my wife more, but only just. 
This comes a close second. Close second to pressure washing. <laughs> I was just saying, if we are uh, if we're leaving the farm to someone else, we need to leave the equipment looking good. That's true. Yeah, we should do that. Mm. Oh, thank you. I wasn't expecting you to do that, but no. thank you. You weren't going to. I might have. <laughs> You're just in the way. I can't get to the shed. So there we go. Nice clean tractors, nice clean spreaders. I will just jump in here and we will fuel things up as well. Have to do the old in and out. And there we go. We'll get some diesel topped up in this one too. And then it is uh, pretty much all good to go. Looks like we might, we should. I don't know if FSG's going to do the same, is he? Or is he just trying to figure out his reversing? Maybe he is. We should probably repair them, but uh, we don't want to leave there to be absolutely nothing for the next farmer to do. So let's put this away, get them backed into the shed, and move on to the next task. All good, Ox? Yeah, no, all good. All good. All fueled up and uh, ready for someone to jump into in the future. Uh, right. What are we going to do? Grab a challenger each and go and do some ripping? I think so. Yeah, which field do you want to do? I was just saying before, we might only have time to get in, get one of them done. So. Let's do the far one at the top because there's no, uh, there's no um, islands or trees or anything in the way. It's a pretty straight field. Yeah, okay. We'll burn through that pretty quick. Yep, sounds good. All right. Nice one. All right, well, these are definitely in need of a wash at some stage, but again, something we can do once we've got in and through doing some ripping. So we'll just get backed up in here with the two matching John Deere rippers. Like I said, we do have the plow there, which we could have always used as well. But seeing we've both... I'm going to be able to run one of these. Let's get back in here and hooked up to those. There we go. Let's go and uh, get it unfolded and get started. So, like if you said, let's go and jump up into this field, make a start in here. And uh, it is a good one. It is quite a nice regular shape. Just that little bit up in the corner there where the uh, herbicide tank is. And obviously, of course, the headlands. But let's just turn in here. See so if we can get set up on this edge because it's a nice straight edge to start off on. Normally, we're going to start on the other side, but. Let's get this unfolded and see how this all looks. FSG to arcs. Go ahead, mate. I think we've got a course set up for these still. Do we? I think it's called Little Rippers. Little Rippers. All right, I'll load it up and see how it looks. So we do. It's a little bit off from the headlands where I am at the moment, but you should be good on your pass. Just overlap mine a little bit and then we'll be into it. Nice. Let's give it a go. Makes things a bit easier, doesn't it? There we go. All right, well, that does make things easier, having a little rippers course set up. Now, these aren't too slow. Eight miles per hour is not too bad, is it, for ripping in? They cover a decent width. They're not the widest, but uh, like I said, they do cover cover a good amount. So we're just going to jump into this as well. It's always nice having two tractors working side by side in the field and... Uh, these challenges sort of loaded down and really hauling. It's a good looking combo, actually. I do like this setup. It'd be nice to be able to use the bigger equipment here. And uh, certainly looking forward to having a little bit of a change, though. So, again, keep your eyes peeled for what we're going to go and do next up in the Northern Hemisphere. But for now, let's get this field all ripped up and prepped for the next person to come in and plant what they want to.
Well, that is us pretty much all are done here in the field. We're just running across this bottom headland. FSG has gone all the way up the top. You can just make a silhouette out in amongst the trees. And he's going to run the headland up the top there. And uh, there's one more pass just over there between the end and the tree or the uh, herbicide tank that needs to be done as well. So he's going to take care of that. And we will be all finished. It's taken a wee while. We had uh, one more unfortunate disconnect where we both got booted out of the server. So that just added a little bit more time, but we are done, which is good. And this will be one field that will be completely ready to be planted into uh, when the time comes. So we'll just carry on. We'll get this little bit done in here, and uh, then we'll be back over to the yard, washing things off and getting them all set for the next farmer to come in. Well, there we go. That is us done. FSG is just running down what looks like the last pass over there on the edge of the field, and he will be here as well. So... Uh, yeah, good to get that one all finished off and imagine how long it would have taken us if we were to carry on into these fields. It was a little bit daunting, but uh, obviously there is also the option to have grabbed the bigger player, so that might be something someone else chooses to do. But for now, I think that is us all finished. I might just actually leave this parked up here. I did say we were going to fuel it up, but the next person is going to be coming in and doing some ripping, so we might just leave this here for them to go and do that. We'll wait for FSG to come over and we'll have a chat to him. Well, mate, that's us all done. Yep, our final chores on uh, Aussie Farms done. It is, it is. So we're going to leave the fields uh, all limed here. One of them all ripped and ready to be planted into, but still plenty of work for someone to step in and carry on. And uh, on that matter, we're going to make the save available to download and as well as the mods and all those kind of things like we've done with some of our previous series. So keep an eye out for that. That's right. Yeah, links in the descriptions for those. Uh, yeah, we'll host those for a little while for people to go and grab if they want to pick this up and uh, run with it, yeah. Mm, that's right. Uh, it'd be good to see some progress being carried on by someone else. I did just have a quick look. There's about $1.3 million worth of products sitting in silos and bins and sheds and things to be sold. So you could be starting off with quite a well-established farm. Yeah, somebody could have some fun with a few upgrades as well to equipment and things like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Nice little challenge for somebody. It would be a uh, 715 quad tracker. It would look nice out here. <laughs> you blow all the cash on one track. Why not? Why not? Awesome, mate. Well, uh, as always, it's been a pleasure working here in Aussie with you. I hope you've enjoyed your time down under. It's been amazing, mate. It's been really good fun. I uh, really enjoyed doing this series. It's been great. Um, and, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we're not going to tell anybody where we're going just yet, I don't think. They'll just have to wait and see, won't they? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um it should be fun though. We're looking forward to a bit of a new challenge and something a little bit different for us. That's right. That's right. So until then, mate, um, thank you. Always fun catching up. Absolutely. Likewise. And we'll uh, we'll see you up in the Northern Hemisphere somewhere. Yes, indeed. We'll see you soon. Safe travels. Cheers, Alex. All right. See you, buddy. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, there we go. Done and dusted here on Aussie Farms. Uh, like we said, this has been a fun series, it's been a lot different for us, getting down here, setting a few different tasks with the textiles, the merchandise and those kind of things, as well as taking on a few new crops, lentils and chickpeas, something I hadn't done before, trying out some swathing, uh, a few different mods as well, the uh, Kelly diamond chains and that, something completely different as well as the gold acres sprayers in there. Um, just nice to be able to play with some authentic equipment based on the region and area we started out in and uh, we've been farming so like we said hoping that someone will carry on the farm here keep an eye out it will be down in the description a link to be able to download everything you need to carry on our work here so from the farm some guy and myself thank you all very much for watching the series we really hope you have enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you where the journey takes us next <music>